With sugar and spice and a roll of the dice, you're listening to The Dice Girls. Zuha Quest. Quest. <laughs> I think we all were. Testing one. Okay, we already did that. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, here we here we are. Alexa has something to tell you. Uh, <laughs> surprise season finale. <laughs> <laughs> surprise series finale. Series finale. Yeah, series finale. Yeah. Well, I mean season because this is oh, okay. The end of the quest season. Okay, right. And we might in the future you know do another do, campaign we might quest it up or yeah. something somewhere. okay so i like season finale yeah yeah we this is really unexpected last minute hate to <laughs> tell you guys this but there are only two episodes left of our quest campaign surprise surprise shody jody shody oh shody surprise shody <laughs> That's right. Yeah, not like a real happy surprise, but and then it gets really dark <laughs> at the end of the second episode because as it stood when we sat down to record these two sessions, we were done. We didn't mm-hmm. know if we were going to be coming back if this was the end of the Dice Girls. So, yeah, so kind of disregard the conversation <laughs> at the end of the second yes, episode. Yes, we have since worked it out. Yes, we did. Yeah. Not that there was any like work it out implies that there was like internal strife, but no, 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 there yeah, wasn't. No, there was we just not. didn't know what we were gonna do. Yeah, we had no idea what we were gonna do. Yeah, and uh, in fact, when we finished recording that second session after we stopped recording, we were like, we're pushing our chairs in at the table, kind of like, <laughs> well, this is it. And then Ashley, yeah, comes up with this great idea. Uh, we're gonna do like a like a talk. Just like a regular, like regular podcast. Yeah, a regular podcast. Yeah, like how normal people do it with right. like chatting and yeah. friendship and stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. That's why our conversations are so good. That's true. Yeah, I'm just surprised to hear you invoke friendship because, you know. <laughs> that usually always so cringy to you i mean yeah but what else is it yeah it is friendship. other than the power of friendship the power of friendship we have a scheduled we have a date scheduled for our first get together get together and we're not going to tell you what it is didn't we already just tell them what it is <laughs> <laughs> did we that's gonna be a talk <laughs> podcast <laughs> No, I mean the date. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. In case yeah. it doesn't work out. Oh, no, don't, don't no. I mean, it. like in case, like we don't wind up getting together on that day. That exact you know, because yeah, that okay. happens so everyone constantly. Well. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, constantly. I mean, constantly. it's just like any other D and D group getting that's together. True. You know, that's true. So that's our preamble to the Constitution, <laughs> and we hope you enjoy these last two sessions of Quest. Thank you for hanging out with us, and please stay. Stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned, because there's much more to come yes. on The, the Dice, Dice Girls. Girls. Can you do it, try it a little no. bit louder? Ready? One, two, three. The Dice Girls! <laughs> okay, so do you remember where we were? Um, horse town. Yep, horse you're town. in the horse town. Uh, Letty just says that they're interested in, that you're interested in starting on the glorious path of horse ownership. <laughs> right. And Alexa curled into a ball because it was so cringy. <laughs> so you you're said, welcome. who should we talk to about that? <laughs> and did they say the horse lady? Well, no, I, I kind of short-circuited during the last episode and it didn't work out. So, okay, here's what really happened. <laughs> Oh, they can help you right over at the horse ownership center. It's right at the end of the lane that way. And then he points that way. (laughs) And you look down that way and you see uh, a wooden building adorned with a faded banner bearing an image of a quill and a piece of parchment paper. That way it is. Let's go. Okay. 
So the door is open, and behind the counter, you see an affable man with silver hair and a crinkled smile. Welcome, travelers. How can I help? <laughs> well, we're a, a little bit interested in uh, in, in possibly uh, some horses. Or a horse, right? <laughs> some number of horses, yes. <laughs> you got some, some mighty un- unusual horses we noticed at the edge of town there, and... We were just wondering if we could have some from some information about them. Oh, of course, that's very exciting. Let's get you set up. Uh, follow me, ladies. And then he starts walking down the hallway. I take a defensive stance. <laughs> <laughs> me, me also takes a defensive stance because she doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, Letty's a little bewildered, but I think yeah. she just kind of like, she's so confused that she just goes. Yeah, I think we yeah. follow with trepidation. Yes. yes. Okay. So as you walk down the hallway, you can see offices set up to the left and the right. People are at their desks, quilling away on paper. He opens the door to one of the offices and says, "Uh, go right in and have a seat. I'm going to grab some information and I'll be right with you. Uh, Okay, thanks. Uh, Yeah, thank you. So he turns to go into another room and you can look through and you can see like yield filing cabinet <laughs> yeah. and he's kind of rifling through it getting like an informational packet mm-hmm. <laughs> like, welcome like to horse uh, ownership <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this feels like he's selling us a car yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah don't buy the extended warranty <laughs> right, so. do we have anything to trade for horses <laughs> That's a good question. I have a broken sword. <laughs> <laughs> I have a murder rabbit sword. Uh-huh. I have an accordion that makes people cry. <laughs> <laughs> I got a box with no keyhole that the triplets <laughs> owe me an explanation for. <laughs> a sewing kit. Rocco. <laughs> Do we own money? We don't. No, no there's, there's no money. money. The economy. Yeah. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we work for our horse. <laughs> We like wash dishes in the bow. We muck stalls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For like a year. <laughs> I mean, if this is our last session, we can end it either like saving the world or just starting our, <laughs> our new path of horse ownership. Yeah. <laughs> we just retire here. Yeah. And we never yeah. help us Ada. Yeah. Like, right. Horse, we just become horse girls. Right. <laughs> That's very on brand. Yes. <laughs> Looking in the room, you see a well-worn wooden desk with a quill and an inkwell and a few pieces of paper. There are three comfortable-looking chairs arranged in front of the desk. We haven't even, like, gone in. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the doorway. We're in the doorway. Yeah. We're in the doorway. Like, he's trying to sell us. Yeah. <laughs> are we going to start this a way new too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspicious. Um, no, I think Letty just picks a chair and sits down. Yeah. yeah. Becca's suspicious. Letty's like, oh, la, la, la. This is great. Great day to buy a horse. Yeah. Um, is Mina nosy enough to look at the papers? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Can I try to look at the yeah. paper? Just look at, at the top paper. I'm not trying to rifle through his things. I'm just peeking over while I'm walking okay. past the desk. Okay. And looking at the top sheet. Do I roll? Yeah, roll in this for, game. Uh, <laughs> Or no, you no, you're because you're just looking with your yeah. eyes. You I'm have just eyes. I'm looking at the top sheet while I walk past. Yeah, and you look in, and the papers are there. It's written in a language that you don't recognize, but it just looks like business work. It's written in horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just says nay, 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 yeah. nay, nay. Clop, clop. Watch me, nay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that, so I just sit down. Yeah, I sit. Yeah, I sit as well. You sit. Okay. So as you're sitting there, you start to hear a strange noise. You hear the floor creaking, and with a heart stopping crack, the floor collapses beneath your feet, and you fall into a chamber covered in a thick layer of straw. Oh no! What? <laughs> Roll for damage. What? I didn't even take oh, out my dice. I Me did neither. not. Can I borrow a d20? <laughs> <laughs> We're also unprepared for it. Oh, no, I remembered a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Some dice girls we are. <laughs> Here we are, five years later. 
Oh, don't even shoot. I forgot dice. <laughs> Thank you. This this bag doesn't have a d20 in it. Wait, 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 right there. What? That one? Oh. <laughs> I'm looking directly at the 20. I'm looking directly at the 20. <laughs> Again, after five Thank years, you, yeah. you can't even you identify the D20. <laughs> we, <got this. laughs> we just have I don't, I don't have that many hit points. <laughs> Are we rolling? Um, should, no, shouldn't it be a D10? No, it's a D20. To oh, pass or fail. Pass or fail. Okay, yeah. no, so that's good. I got a 17. Okay. So I passed. So you success. Yeah. You're... I you, you got a 20? 17. No. Oh, you got a 17. Okay, so that's a success. Yeah. So you're fine. I had a 15. <gasps> a 15. Okay, that is also a success. <gasps> 13? A 13. That is also a success. Yes. Yeah. So you did. Oh, we got like spider senses. Yeah. 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 You did. It's our defensive stance. It's like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like you braced yourself. Yeah. For we the were fall. already on edge. Like we, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. We yes. Has your eyes adjust to the gloom? Oh, wait. Ow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't leave any space for you guys to react to this. What? Like, tarnation? <laughs> was that a trap? Yeah, was this on purpose? My immediate fear is that we're going to be turned into horses. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> no, but now it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Where are we? What how, how, hello, Letty. Like looks up. Is the hole a bit, like? Visible? Yeah, like how far down are we? Yeah. Sorry. It's, how far down are we? Okay. <laughs> it's like twenty-five feet. Dang. Dang. Whoa. We're yeah. lucky we didn't take any damage. Yeah. Yeah. But can we see? There's a like, lot of straw underneath you. Really can cushy we chairs. Can we see the, the hole in the ceiling above us or has it like reclosed? Yeah. You saw like the like the chairs that you were sitting in, they were just kind of folded <sighs> over like just to dump you out. So oh, it so was it's on purpose. And then it slowly closes. <laughs> well, hello? I think Letty calls to the ceiling, probably to no avail. I did not know this is how you buy a horse. <laughs> Do you think this is normal? Do you think everybody who buys a horse <laughs> goes through this process? This traumatic process? I don't think so. Maybe, Something's not right here. Maybe it's just a hunch. Maybe it's a test that they give you before you buy the horse. Uh, can we see? Is it dark in here? Um, as your eyes adjust to the gloom that is dimly lit by phosphorescent fungi, you realize there's a figure in the room with you. Is it a horse? <laughs> <laughs> is the horse in the room with us now? <laughs> a horse steps out of <laughs> He has like excruciating eyes. <laughs> comes into focus and you see a woman with long purple hair slumped in the corner you realize it is a zeta <gasps> a zeta i rush over to her yeah is she okay is she conscious she's unconscious <gasps> oh just gently shake her a little bit to see if she wakes up. okay yeah roll for oh. shake to wake <laughs> gentle shake to wake gentle shake to wake because i don't want to traumatize her Four. A four. That is a failure, and you face a setback. So you go to shake her, and, but you kind of lose your footing, and then you just smash your face into the wall. You, <laughs> you have been waiting for that. <laughs> yep, since episode, what, seven of the Dice, Dice Girls Omara campaign? <laughs> When you smash your face in the window, the that was window. one of my favorite moments. <laughs> <laughs> and you take a point of face smash damage. I don't know how many hit points I have. Can I tell um, if a Zeta is like 
Oh no, I've got ten. Never mind. Okay. She's is she breathing? Yes, she is breathing. Does she have any like visible like wounds or? Yeah, she's kind of battered. She has Ooh. like uh, bruises on her face. There's a cut on her arm. You know, close to her hand. Okay. Can I think Letty's gonna attempt to cast mend? Oh, nice. Mm. Which I'm terrified of. <laughs> My magic doesn't work very well for me. <laughs> um, so mend would immediately restore five hit points plus mend minor wounds. It doesn't nice. heal impairments, permanent wounds, or cure diseases. Okay. Um, but all I have to do is gently touch her. And so I think I'd say beforehand, just like in case she is somewhere in there listening, um, Azeda, it, it's Letty. You're gonna be okay. We're gonna see what we can do to help you. I'm I'm gonna mend you now. Just hold, just I guess it's kind of silly to tell you to hold still, but hold still. <laughs> <laughs> and I like put my hand on her shoulder, and I attempt to cast mend. Oh, <laughs> that twenty! Are you kidding? Swear to God, right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Is that the first nat twenty of this campaign? <laughs> Probably. On the I last episode, be, I would not be surprised. <laughs> wow! So, as you cast mend, her eyes start to flutter, and she looks up, and she sits up, and she looks at you, and she says, "She starts to cry." Uh huh. It's you. I knew you would come and save me. I've been waiting for you. Were we gone for that long? How did she get here before us? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know why Mina's the one who's asking. <laughs> I, I went to sleep at home, and then I had the strangest dream that I was out on the road going to Hort Kloppenhaven. And then the next thing I n- knew, I, I woke up in here and I, I was hurt and I'm so scared and I don't understand why all these things keep happening to me. You, you know, as I did, they say that uh, the best, you know, uh, comedy comes from real lived experience. So like... <laughs> One could argue that the the more life experiences you have, the more comedy you'll have to draw from on stage. Really? Absolutely. I bet someday you'll look back on all this and 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 maybe laugh. <laughs> maybe <laughs> laugh, hopefully. <laughs> but not but not laugh and then cry. Yeah, right? no, just regular laughing. Just yeah. regular not laugh. the magical kind. Yeah, I just like because you want that. to. Yeah. But then she. Oh, why am I talking in her <laughs> voice? Wait. Um, so then she starts to like perk up a little bit, but then her eyes flash with anger. You need to level with me. No more lying. I, you guys know stuff that I don't know. You're there's things you're not telling me. What do you know? Um. Well, a horse told us that this is all about baby lasers. <laughs> But that's about, I think that's about as far as we've gone. Yeah, we really from the don't know mouth. as much as you think we do. Straight from the horse's mouth. That was a good one. <laughs> 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 but who is this person that's after me? I heard you guys talking about it before. Oh, that's... Croydon? Yep, that guy. <laughs> Didn't she, did she, did Azita not meet Croydon before? Wasn't he like trying to pursue she, her? He was trying Did, to pursue yeah. her, but I don't think anybody was like told her. The villagers oh. ran him out of town because they knew oh. he was up to no good. Yeah, that's right. And they were trying to protect her. Yeah. Well, we did lie about one thing. <laughs> what? Uh, well, we just, it it's more of an omission, really. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the pound, the the townspeople, the pounds people, <laughs> the townspeople in L.A., uh, right? Yeah, yeah, right? The townspeople of L.A. Uh, knew that somebody was after you, but they didn't know why. Um, and they chased him away, and that's why we left L.A. was um, 
Watson, right? Watson right, sent right. us Watts, Watson sent us on this quest to find this guy. Do I remember the story? I think I think that's <laughs> yeah. Happened, I think yeah. that sounds accurate. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Watson sent us. Watson, I think, and I and think Judy. Watson asked us not to tell you about him, or we just left town really quick. I don't remember. <laughs> I think they wanted to keep you in the dark because, you know, with you're laughing and you're crying, it's, you've been in a real fragile state, so they didn't want to upset you any further. Yes, that. <laughs> yeah, they did it because they were worried about you, not because they were trying to hide stuff from you. So they, they, they did all really love me? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They care about you a lot. Heaps. So much they called us here to help you. Mm-hmm. So... Oh, where am I? What What are you doing here? I knew you would come and save me, but I don't even know where I am. You're in Kloppenhaven. Okay. Underneath the horse, horse place. The horse, the, the the horse, horse ownership. The horse, the horse dealer. dealer. The horse dealer. <laughs> the horse dealership. We're under the horse dealership. <laughs> so what, why are you here? Um, We were trying to get some information. And then we sat in some chairs, and the chairs dumped us down here. <laughs> Honestly, that's about what happened. Yeah, yeah. So do you think that the guy is here? Is that he who trapped us? Honestly, Prob- probably. Yeah. We, we're not too sure. Yeah, We, we just got here. <laughs> yeah, we really just got here and didn't get a good look at his feet. <laughs> 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 Which is important because he has six toes. <laughs> Not because we just look at random passerby's feet on the road oh, or you anything. Did that one time. No, it was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, but we had good intentions. <laughs> When we knocked that man out and looked at his feet. <laughs> and then left. <laughs> oh my god, it made him think he had a really communicable disease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was the it triplets was dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times, was, good times. Yeah. It was all for you, Zeta. <laughs> <laughs> So, but but what are we going to do when when we find him? Did we get that far in our planning? (laughs) No. I don't think so either. No, we just decided, we just talked to a horse and then decided we wanted to talk to that horse more, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's about about Um, it. Well, we're, when we find him, we definitely want to question him Mm -hmm. about why he is so intent on getting you. Right. But, I mean, we we kind of have that part figured out, right? Baby lasers? Baby lasers. So, yeah, something to do with the baby yeah, lasers. Yeah, we don't know why he's all interested in your baby lasers. Um, or horses. Or, yeah, that. Well, yeah. Um, we just need, we need some information from him. But how, how, can we, how can we stop him if he's after me for my baby lasers? We'll poke him. Real hard with our swords. <laughs> um, can you shoot him with your baby lasers? I mean, have you ever like shot them at a person before? No, I haven't. But you've mined with them, right? Yeah. Yeah, she can do it on command. Okay, so but only, but only in the mind. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because of the like the silver or something down yeah, there. Yeah, the silver I think is what allows me to to baby laser. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, but you didn't bring what, any out with you, did you? <laughs> I, well, I mean, I have my my keychain. I always <laughs> carry a piece of the silver on it. But what about you guys? We signed a contract. We we can't, right? That yeah, we signed our baby lasers away. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. Do you what, think what con- was that in exchange for? <laughs> Did we get anything out of we that We were deal? babies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the contract that we signed as babies is null and void? Like, what if we could use our baby lasers this whole time because the, <laughs> the contract didn't count and we just haven't tried? Right. We need a lawyer. You did, you, <laughs> you did try, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, in okay. the clearing. Yeah. That's remember right. when the sky right. Maybe we should have oh. gone down to the mine. The silver mine. And mm-hmm. tried them there. Hold on to her keychain real tight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's always chance since you guys have baby lasers, then maybe there's a chance that it'll, it'll work out. Yeah, we'll just k- 
keep trying as we move along, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can help us uh, learn to use our baby lasers. Yeah. Yeah, what what does it feel like when you activate your baby lasers? What do you do to, to, to turn it on? Um, it's kind of like, it's almost like there's a welding hood on top of my head, and then I just throw my head down, and it brings this uh, power force in front of my face with their little binoculars (laughs) that come out of the thing instead of there being like a like a protective coating <laughs> on it it's little baby laser binoculars that come out and then and then i just go <laughs> well i can't say i've ever had that feeling before <laughs> mm. um mina mina tries it yeah mina tries it a couple of times yeah and I'm guessing nothing happens. N- nothing happens. Okay. We're just all in here yeah. 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 Um, uh, Can we look around the room? Yeah, What's in here? Is there anything else in here besides straw? Yeah, is there, like a, is there a way out? Oh, and fungus. There's or are fungus. we in like an oubliette? It's it's basically, it's an oubliette. There is no. <laughs> is that why you've been panicking? Because <laughs> you've been thinking about oubliette. <laughs> yeah. Oubliette. Di- That's being her in worst a, fear. In a, yeah, What's in an oubliette? oubliette is my worst fear. What's an oubliette? Like a pit, but some of them are different. But the one that I saw on, I think it was Mysteries at the Museum. (laughs) It's this thing under the castle, and it's this little narrow opening that they put you down in, and then they just close the lid on you, and you can't move, you can't, you can't sit, you can't do anything, and then yeah. But there's also one in Labyrinth, the David Bowie movie. Um, oh yeah, that she falls down. It's got more space, and there's like a secret door. Oh, that, yeah, that uh, she that she gets out of. Um, that one's a lot nicer, and it's sparkly. Nice. So right, I prefer that oubliette. So as you as you're looking around the room, trying to you know see if there's any way to get out or anything like that, Azeta's foot slips out from under her skirt. And you realize that on her left foot, you realize on her left foot, she has six toes. I knew it. I was getting so suspicious there, but I didn't say anything. Oh, what? You can shapeshift, but you don't change the number of toes you have. (laughs) It's a fixed point. (laughs) (laughs) Suddenly, the chamber is lit with an eerie red glow, and Azeda's face starts to twist and shift, and her lovely face morphs into a sinister figure of a man, eyes gleaming with malevolence. Dark energy surrounds him as he looks at the three of you. Then his face breaks into a wide grin, and he begins to laugh. (laughs) <laughs> now that I know your plan, I can tell you undoubtedly that it will not work. <laughs> our course. plan, our plan is literally to talk to you, sir. <laughs> so are you just not going to talk to us? Why? Why? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> I feel so betrayed. <laughs> Azada. <laughs> That's amazing. The silver in L.A. that fills people with light and love and hope is draining the magic from my horses. They're worth a fortune, but only when their magic works. That's how I've built my empire, and I'm not about to lose it. When someone touches one of the horses, I can see the secrets in their hearts, and I can use that knowledge to my advantage. So you... you you're just having trouble selling horses? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about... But wait a second. Moving? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> if Azade is the only one... Oh, no, she's not the only one, right? Who can mine the magic silver? She is the only one. Mm-hmm. And the ma- But you're her. <laughs> you were mining the own silver that's causing your horses to lose their magic? No, I think he was just, she, he was just pretending to be Azada. Oh! <laughs> I knew that. 
I thought. Did Letty know that? Nope. <laughs> Letty is so confused <laughs> because she thought this was the real Azeta and that we just found out that the real Azeta is oh, also okay. Corday. Right, right. Yeah. I did also have that thought, but it came and went. That, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> I think Letty's up to speed now. <laughs> Never mind, I retract my question. <laughs> Normal people just see them as beautiful horses and can't see the patterns on them. But when they pet one of the horses, the images that are revealed when they touch them are usually the darkest thoughts in their hearts. One person touches a horse and I can see they stole candy from a neighbor or killed their brother at the post office. <laughs> Those are very different crimes. <laughs> I can take that information and gently convince that person to give me everything they own. We don't oh. have much, so. But you're meddling with my plan. You're planning to stop me. I need to lure Azeta here so that I can trap her so that she can't use her baby lasers to mine the silver anymore. She doesn't want to mine the silver anymore. She wants to do stand-up. Yeah, have you ever thought of asking her nicely? I mean, like... <laughs> That's actually a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> we can be friends. She, she doesn't want to do it. <laughs> we just, let, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, most of this campaign has been trying to help Zeta out because she doesn't want to do the baby lasers. But she, unfortunately has the goodness in her heart that she will sacrifice herself for the good of the world. I need to put an end to that. But I can't get her here because every time I try to get her here, somebody stops her. And I'm putting an end to the stopping. <laughs> stopping the stopping. Stopping the stopping. <laughs> Why? How are the baby lasers connected? I mean, how is the silver connected to your horses? Does the silver give your horses magic and then the more they mine of it? How does that work? Something like that. It's, <laughs> it's like this whole thing where when they mine the they mine the silver, people have the silver, they have good in their hearts and they want to be, you know, all love and light and everything, then they stop doing bad things, which means I can't exploit their their badness for my gain so oh. i have to put an end to that and get humanity back on the track that it's going in ew <laughs> that was probably letty <laughs> you're a bad dude and do you have any idea where you even are no not really Cloppenhaven. No. you the horse dealership <laughs> you're in my trap <laughs> you're you're in the skyball factory what <laughs> this isn't a horse factory it's a sky horse factory horse. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a horse dealership it's a, <laughs> it's a skyball dealership <laughs> what do the skyballs have to do like we have the pieces of the puzzle i think we just need a little help <laughs> Putting them together. This is a real small factory. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. What do the skyballs have to do with anything? Any? Yeah, <laughs> the silver and the horses and the baby lasers and, and the blackmail. Yeah, do you care to diatribe for us? <laughs> yeah, do your monologue thing. <laughs> I create the skyballs to make Zeta feel miserable, so that she wants to leave LA to do stand up. The skyballs are supposed to draw her here where I can trap her so that she can't mine the silver anymore. And since you convinced her not to leave, I've had to make some, hmm, should we say, modifications. The skyball I'm making now will level Los Angeles. <gasps> and I won't have to worry about the mine anymore. In the meantime, I'll have to figure out just what to do with the three of you meddling kids. <laughs> And then he snaps both of his fingers and this cool little elevator comes <laughs> <laughs> And he hops on and a gate slams shut and then he rises to the surface. Kind of like Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror Picture nice. Show. So he, rise, he rises to the surface. 
So is are we in a small room? Or are we it's in the about, factory? It's about the, the room that you're in. It's about the size of the kitchen. Okay. Okay. This might not be anything, but Mina, do you recognize these like glowing fungus that are down here? Mm. Plant girl. <laughs> do I recognize the... I, I would think that I do, but is there any reason I wouldn't recognize? Um, roll for recognize a plant... Okay. <laughs> 16 Ooh, oh that's a success so yes when you look at it you realize that they're flangella illuminata and you know that was excellent that was <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. Yes. i hope that's not I'm a real really thing, impressed but um when you look at them you realize that by uh picking a piece of it and holding it in your hands and concentrating on um, concentrating <laughs> on stuff. Concentrating on, on concentrating. Concentrate. <laughs> you concentrate on concentrating and and trying to focus. Then the the light will the light will increase a little bit. Mm. Oh, okay. are these what the sky balls are made out of? Oh, that's it could, an excellent question. Could it could be? Oh back up <laughs> okay so as you look at the plant as you look at the you look at the plant you realize the flangella illuminata no go back to where go back to where we were. <laughs> <laughs> do i notice anything suspicious about the fungi no there's nothing suspicious can i roll for that <laughs> You already, you already rolled because you recognize it. Just it just sounds really suspicious right now. Yeah, you can roll for suspicion. <laughs> Is this going to just gauge how suspicious I am? Or um, a 14. A 14. You're pretty suspicious. Okay, yeah, that's a success. You're Succe- real suspicious. I'm <laughs> successfully, successfully suspicious. That's a tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't help me, does it? <laughs> no. But you know that if you pick a piece of it and focus on focusing, it will illuminate the room a little bit more. I was going to do something else, but it doesn't make any sense. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get my extract myself from that. Oh, okay, and I was just digging you deeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think this is going to help us very much. All it does is just illuminate, period. <laughs> um, should if we snap our fingers, will the elevator come down, or is it oh. like tied to him? <laughs> Let he snap. Yeah, both fingers snap. Nothing happens. <sighs> oh, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. Well, I mean, if it's brighter in here, maybe we could see something that we can't see now, like a trip wire or a elevator button or a. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, you have to door. concentrate on the. Fungus too. <laughs> I'm, I can't. <laughs> you have to concentrate on the fungus in order to make it illuminate more. So maybe I can sit here and focus on it, and you guys look around. Sounds like a plan. Yes. Okay. So Mina grabs a chunk of mushroom and uh, just plops herself down like in the middle of the room and like stares at it and starts concentrating to try to illuminate the room. Okay, and as you do that, the light slowly begins to fade from the mushrooms and you're plunged into pitch <gasps> darkness. That's the opposite of how it's <laughs> supposed to work. Uh, I, um, I might have been thinking in the wrong direction. Um, uh, I, she tries again. <laughs> and nothing happens. Dang it. <laughs> um, okay, I, I don't know... Uh, it, it's supposed to be brighter. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all right. You didn't. I mean, you tried. Um, yeah. Um, Listen, I'm not going to be the one to, ma- <laughs> to right. make fun of someone that, right. their, that their plan didn't go the way they thought it would. <laughs> I'm the last person. <laughs> Do we have any matches or anything? Um. Maybe Do we have any firework magic. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, we've got firework magic. Um. But I'm also wondering if, like, with my magic tricks, I could just, like, make a light, you know? Maybe, yeah. Because like yeah. that one doesn't... Little sparklers for us to carry right. around? Or... <laughs> yeah, like, like like in Skyrim, you make, like, the mage light, yeah. and it just uh, kind of yeah, follows yeah, yeah. you around. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> okay. I try to do that. Because magic tricks doesn't take any of my 
action points. Nice. 12. A 12, that is a success. Cool. And so what does it look like when you do this? Um, I go whoosh with, with my hand. Uh-huh. And then like this uh, ball of, it's like blue white light. And it just kind of hovers by me and follows me around as I walk. Okay. So as you kind of walk around the room, you know, pointing your light at different things, you notice in the far wall that there's a doorway. Ah. And in the door, there is a keyhole that is glowing. (gasps) Yo, I got this. (laughs) (laughs) Letty um, pouts around in her pockets for like 26 seconds. And (laughs) then she finds her key of light. Her luck key. Her luck key. Her luck key. Uh, And she puts it in the hole. She has to say something, and I wrote it down. It's something really good. It's like everything will always... It basically means everything's going to be okay in the end. (laughs) I know that's not it exactly, but that's what Letty says. Letty can't remember. Letty wouldn't be able to remember anyway, (laughs) to be honest. Uh... Everything always works out for me in the end. And And then as you turn the lock, the whole door illuminates and then it starts to fade (gasps) and you see that you're facing a a tunnel. Secret tunnel. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. The tunnel is lit with an otherworldly glow. There are cracks in the walls Mm. where the glow is coming through. You can hear a rhythmic mechanical thumping sound coming from the far end of the tunnel. He's building sky balls. Yeah. (laughs) Hopefully there's a way we can shut down the operation. (laughs) I'm sure we'll figure something out. Uh, Yeah. Onwards. Uh, Onwards. Onwards. So as you walk, the glow becomes even brighter and you hear shouts from what sounds like people hard at work. Um, I dispel my light. Oh, okay. The tunnel snakes to the right, and as you peer around the opening, you see an immense cavern filled with people pushing carts of plants toward a huge opening in the far wall. In the enormous recess in the cavern, you see a massive orb pulsing with a sickening light. As a worker approaches the orb, they dump the load of plants into it, and it erupts in deathly black flames. Oh, is the plant the the plant that the, the bad one? The bad one? Yes, you recognize. Yeah, yeah that nice. it's the bad one. Oh my god, the bad plant makes skyrockets. <laughs> I mean, we knew they were connected, but I didn't realize they were like connected, connected. Right? Yeah. Um. So, what's what's our we, game plan? We gotta stop this operation. Yeah. Um. I have a I have an idea. I just don't know if Amina would think of it. But I think it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I want to hear it. Um, walking up to one of the employees <laughs> and asking if he gets paid. <laughs> and if he doesn't, just tell him to go home. <laughs> what if? <laughs> That's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's like magic keeping him here or something. But like, it's worth <laughs> yeah. a try. Like, yeah. why are you here? What if we pretend we're new workers and it's our first day on the job? Oh, yeah. And then we uh, sabotage? Yeah. Yeah. We're here for orientation. Maybe they'll tell us, hey, don't do this thing. It'll mess up the whole skyball. Yeah. And then we do that thing. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, Okay, perfect. That was a really, your, my idea came from your idea, which is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So we just got to talk. Uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> hi, hello. Uh, <laughs> um, Mina just runs up to the first uh, employee that she finds. And it's a woman in a worker uniform with a like a worker hat, whatever. Yeah. Skyball uniform. It has in the on the pocket there's a little patch, a little embroidered skyball. <laughs> He's put some money into this. Yeah. <laughs> He's committed. <laughs> who, who who are you? What are you doing here? Nobody's supposed to be down here. This is classified top secret. Well, ma'am, it's our first day on the job, and uh, we were wondering where to get our work uniforms from. Croydon said us to talk to you. He said you knew more than any other worker down here. He said, you go find that, that lady. I can't remember what he said your name was. What was it again? What did he say your name was? 
What's your name? Uh, Skyer Fly. That's it. <laughs> That's exactly the name he told us. <laughs> we all have code names. He said, "Go find Skyfly. <laughs> She'll know exactly what to do." And uh, we're here to help out. Where can we find us some uniforms, ma'am? So you're saying that Croydon hired you? Yeah, sent us straight down here. Yeah, we rode on his fun little elevator. He said it was a little unusual to get hired this way, but but uh, we we have exceptional talents. Uh, Mina here is a, a, a incredible with with plants, uh, and and so he thought we'd be a good fit for your your factory down here. We want to help out. Okay, roll for persuasion. <laughs> roll for lying. lying. <laughs> Eight. Okay, so you you succeed in convincing this person, Sky or Mina. What's her name? Skyfly. 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 That you're down there to work, um, but you lose. What's something really important to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lose. <laughs> I would imagine either the luck key or the box with no keyhole. Those are my two most important items if I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you, you're all of a sudden, your luck key starts to burn a hole in your pocket. Oh. Uh, Letty starts trying to pat it out. Like, <laughs> oh, I, this has never happened before. I honestly don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then when you look in your pocket, you see that it's just like a pile of ash. Oh. Oh. Y'all, <laughs> I think our luck has run out. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, no. Well, I hope that was the only door that we needed to open with that. You know what? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so Skyfly looks at her clipboard and she says, well, I don't see anything on here, but obviously you wouldn't be able to get down here if Croydon didn't send you. So uh, go grab some. There's uniforms on the wall. Go grab them and I'll get you started. So you look and you see on the wall there, like, rows of worker uniforms with the shirts with the embroidered scarball and scarball caps. <laughs> I'm going to run over and put one on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Emma just puts the shirt on over her, her skirt because she, oh, yeah. okay. she likes her dress. With yeah. The, oh. the, Letty does the same thing the over her dress. On. So oh. as you do that and you're putting on your outfits on the wall to the right of the recess where the skyball is, you see a sign that says skyball shut down with like a skull. <laughs> but over it, there's a metal grate over a large red button. <laughs> oh, y'all, we got to push that button. How do we get past the grate? You want to have a melt metal spell? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be real convenient. Um, Wait, don't you have a sword that like destroys a thing if you say the thing out loud first? <gasps> I do. I have a sword that destroys a thing if I say the thing out loud first. <laughs> um, I also have an accordion that makes people cry if we need a distraction. <laughs> Just make everybody start crying and then bam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One of us runs into the middle of the room. With the accordion, starts okay. playing. Uh -huh. You take the sword uh -huh. and then press the button while everyone's sobbing. Yes. <laughs> Should we rock paper scissors for accordion? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to win or lose. I but... know. <laughs> me, me either. I'm just, let's do it. Are we doing rock paper scissors shoot? Sure. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, I oh, won. So I think. what okay. do you want to do? It's oh. your choice. Then. Okay. Okay. Um. Are you accordion in it or are you not accordion in it? You know, I've never played an accordion before. <laughs> Neither have I. Okay. So we're on even ground skill uh -huh. wise. Yep. Uh, I'll do the accordion, I suppose. Okay. I mean, if we're looking for a distraction, I'm like, I'm big and tall. <laughs> and if I played an accordion, I'd be hard to miss. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. All right. I'll, I'll, t I'll do the accordion. Okay, great. What, and, are, you, what are you going to be doing? Um. I will stand guard over Mina while Mina presses the button. I'll like get my magic ready and I'll like 
Look, yeah. try to look as big and tough and scary as I can. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Just imagine you like poofing out your dress to try yeah. to look big. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Like one of those lizards with the, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. frill lizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Um, Mina, Mina uh, just pulls out the accordion from wherever she keeps it and, <laughs> and just like shoves it at Letty, like, here you go, have fun. Um, <laughs> so, I, well, I, hang on a second. You just, you. I don't know how to play an accordion. You just play it. Is everybody going to be crying <laughs> and doing you guys? That's a risk we're going to have to take. <laughs> We, have, we can still function if we're crying, I hope. <laughs> yeah, we'll be sobbing and, <laughs> and button pressing okay. at the same time. Maybe, like, <laughs> plug your ears? Can you plug your ears? I, no, to... I will plug Mina's ears while she does it. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I will be doing. You're just sobbing. Right. Your <laughs> yeah. I will <laughs> sacrifice myself for you, Mina. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Um, I think Letty is going to like tear a small piece of cloth off of her dress and stuff it in her own ears. Oh, okay. So she doesn't cry while she's mm-hmm. playing the accordion. Imagine. <laughs> I'm just sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, go. Are we ready? I, I think so. All right. Let's go. Uh, and and Letty starts just like, she doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> right, 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 right. She's just pumping it back and forth and yeah. pressing the keys. And like, she starts singing a song uh-huh. <laughs> as well. <laughs> How does this song go? As she's walking to the middle of the room. <laughs> Attention, everyone. <laughs> it's my first day and I've been hired for it. Entertainment to raise morale. <laughs> so hopefully this accordion solo makes you happy. <laughs> she's just like at the top of her lungs singing, but not loud enough to drown out the accordion and playing. The worst. The the accordion doesn't go with the music that she's singing whatsoever because right. she can't hear. Yeah. <laughs> and she's just going. And so slowly, everybody turns to look at you like in shock and puzzlement, but then all of a sudden they, <laughs> their <laughs> eyes start to tear up and then they just, it's like the most, it's the most emotional song they've ever heard in their lives. <laughs> and they just, they just start, to, their chests start to heave a little bit and then it's just like this chorus of, <laughs> of sobbing. Letty sees it and she starts thinking of sad things that she can sing about. <laughs> right. Puppies being reunited with their owners <laughs> and colorblind people trying on them glasses for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> trying on them glasses. <laughs> Every time oh, I, go, yeah, I, I know, know, I know, yeah. I know, yeah. Those are an instant <laughs> yeah. tears, 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 tears. Yeah. yeah. Especially when they're kids, too. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> or when the babies have hearing aids for the first uh, yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> they can hear their mama. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're plugging Mina's ears. Yeah, I'm plugging, and I'm <laughs> just like, I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> like those babies. Yeah. <laughs> These puppies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh but God. I'm hold I'm holding firm. <laughs> but not too firm, so I don't want to hurt Mina's eardrums. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um and Mina pulls out her thornsicle sword. <laughs> And and yells out. Um, so are you? You aren't near the button. I'm not. You're across the room from it. Oh, I thought we were already at the button. No, you're across the room from it. You're just on the outside of the tunnel. Well, you had talked to the first person who <gasps> mm-hmm. walked by. And so we've gone over to get our co- our costumes. yeah. Got got <laughs> your got your <laughs> worker outfits and everything. So yeah. So the button's across the way a little bit. Oops. 
so um, let's go <laughs> yeah we march forward book uh, it well okay so becca is still having to play the accordion yep. to yeah. keep people crying Got you this. have your fingers in her ears right so how do you get across the room <laughs> without <laughs> like i can still walk can okay. i <laughs> we slowly make our room way across the room uh we go as fast as we can with uh, fingers in my ears. Yeah, okay. and heaving, sobbing behind you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so just as you reach the the skyball shut down, you what do you do? You pull out your. Uh, yeah, I pull, pull out my thornsicle sword and I yell out, cry out, maybe even. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we're I'm cutting the grate. <laughs> I forgot how to say it. It just says, yell what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know if I get to say it cool, like cut the grate, or if I just uh-huh. have to say it like nerdy, like I'm cutting the grate now. <laughs> so, I am doing the thing. So I'm cutting the grate now. Okay. <laughs> and I swing my sword at it. So just as you swing your sword, you, you have it back behind you ready to strike down. You hear a noise coming from the upper corner of the room and you look and there's a little mini skyball heading for your sword <gasps> and it hits your sword and knocks it out of your hand <laughs> and you see croydon he now he has on uh a, like a vampire cape <laughs> and he's he's all red and glowing he's up in the corner and he's like i you are not stopping is he crying this <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You are not stopping <laughs> the skyball because I have to stop everything. I have to blow up LA. You're not. <laughs> not you can't just. You can't do this, you guys. And then he's just. He's throwing skyballs at you. They're little mini ones. They're about the size of tennis balls, uh, but they still burn if they if they hit you. So he knocks the sword out of my hand. Mm hmm. So, it, Mina tries to dodge all these skyballs that are coming at her and tries to go for the sword again, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, Emma's like, get down, Mr. President. And it's like, trying to get in the way of all the, of all the <laughs> skyballs. <laughs> She's like she's, she's she's trying to absorb all the incoming traffic. <laughs> okay, so as you're doing this and you're helping to keep the skyballs away from Mina, the air starts to shimmer and you see the image of the poppy statue oh appear in the sky. <laughs> no. Poppy reaches into his tunic and pulls out three sheets of paper looking <gasps> at you. <laughs> Oh my god! It's our baby laser gun. Oh my god! <laughs> Looking at you, he tears the sheets of paper in half and he screams, Use your powers! 